Hi everyone, welcome to Vedantu Neat English. I am Diksha Kaushal, your chemistry master teacher. And students, today is the most awaited topic, that is most important topics for chemistry need to 2025 and the topics that you can skip so before starting the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and also share this with your friends so let us start the first thing is most important topics right i'm going to tell you top 40 topics throughout you from your syllabus right so first is mole calculations now this is from some basic concepts of chemistry right why this is important for you and how many questions are asked right from this chapter around one to two questions will be asked and most probably one question will be asked right but you know that question will be based on limiting reagent or empirical formula or maybe concentration terms and also based on stoichiometry right but if you talk about ma'am if only one question is going to ask then why this is under most important topics the reason is because this mole calculations and concentration terms are used in your other chapters as well of physical chemistry right so then you have to do these topics right second is from structure of atom the questions are asked from bohr model numericals right the uh, graphical question quantum numbers and the graphical question of radius uh, and uh, uh, radial angular all of these things the graphical questions are asked based on this the probability curves are asked on this right that i have already uh, taken up a lecture on that in the starting of the session right next is hydrogen spectra from this also the questions are asked based on formula based questions or you can even see some complicated questions here right uh, based on n1 and n2 right they can uh, switch between lyman balmer pastern series all of these things you have to remember right and last but not the least that forms a basis of inorganic chemistry from structure of atom is electronic configuration and i assume that if you are preparing for neat then if you don't know electronic configuration then i think you should not prepare for neat right so electronic configuration definitely that is throughout your chemistry will be very useful for you right next is we have kp and kc it is from equilibrium so in equilibrium if you talk about kp and kc ionic equilibrium is chemical equilibrium in that the law of mass section what is the relation between kp and kc what is the how to calculate the how to uh, uh, you know how to answer it if it is given in the form of numerical they have given you some concentrations right they have given you degree of dissociations right based on that how will you put the values and calculate the value of kp and kc right kp in case of pressure as well right next is lee chartier principle so on lee chartier principle direct questions are asked like uh, temperature pressure dependence right direct questions are asked next is ph and solubility product so if we talk about ph and solubility product here in ph it's not only the pH of simple solutions, but the pH of strong acid plus strong base, strong acid, weak base, weak acid, strong base, two strong acid, two strong bases, two weak bases, two weak acids, all of these cases, the pH of individual cases, right? Then you have pH of the buffer solution as well, right? pH of buffer solution. Then we have solubility product that is KSP. Right, a very direct question is asked from uh, solubility product and common ion effect included in that. Common ion effect plus solubility product together the question will be asked. Right, next is we have first law of thermodynamics. Now from thermodynamics how they can ask you question. First is very simple question. If they ask you a very simple question they will ask you from first law of thermodynamics where you need to know the sign conventions. There is usually a problem with students that they mix up first law of thermodynamics of uh, physics and chemistry but the difference is in the sign convention that is why the formula is different right then we have very 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 important most probably the question will be asked from this 11 topic that is formula of work for different processes so isobaric isochoric right isothermal adiabatic all of these processes what is the work right for reversible for irreversible especially for adiabatic reversible irreversible how to calculate the final temperature which is very very important then there is for isothermal reversible and irreversible how to calculate the formula how to calculate the work done here right for adiabatic they can ask you the final temperature for isothermal they will ask you directly the work different is for reversible and different work is for irreversible right next we have ideal and no it's a criteria of spontaneity 
so now there is gibb hasmont equation from where the questions are asked based on when your delta g is positive or negative it's spontaneous non spontaneous based on entropy and enthalpy as well right it's a very very important concept these two concepts are very important from thermodynamics then we have entropy heat capacity now entropy uh, they can ask you conceptual question theoretical based question when the entropy increases or decreases but if we talk about the heat capacity they can ask you direct question based on molar heat capacity specific heat capacity right direct formula based questions can be asked the relation of uh, heat capacity is with the delta u that is internal energy and enthalpy that is also very important next we have enthalpy is in hess's law now hess's law is very simple from here you need to remember how to apply this law uh, in terms of when you need to calculate the bond energy when you need to calculate the heat of formation right on basis of these different different things reactant minus products or products minus reactant that is the difference right next we have solution chapters right solution chapter we have this all is physical chemistry right so this is your class 12th phys uh, physical chemistry that is solution chapter from here predictable questions are ideal and non ideal equation here abnormal the they can ask you uh different different ways they can ask you they can ask you directly the examples of ideal non ideal they can ask you uh for azeotropes positive azeotrope negative azeotrope not positive maximum azeotrope minimum azeotrope based on that they can ask you the same thing in case of abnormal and molecular uh, abnormal and normal monomers right next is want of factor as i told you abnormal and normal molar mass they can ask you want of factor according to that and you need to know the colligative property formula four colligative properties are there in your syllabus including the want of factor right okay then next is nernst equation so from electrochemistry directly the question is asked from nernst equation how to apply it's not only just cramming the formula you need to also know how to apply the formula because the different part here difficult part here is how to put the values what what is e not k hold what is e not n hold right that thing is difficult part here so need to uh, know that how to apply the formula next is you have uh, conductance so from conductance molar conductivity uh, and uh, relation of degree of dissociation all of these things these formulas resistivity conductivity cell constant these little little formulas direct question will be asked next you have carlos law very very simple law direct numerical can be based on conduct molar conductivity uh, and degree of dissociation and carlos law the mixture of these three things they will ask you one question they can ask you degree of dissociation right okay so direct formula based question these are faraday's law faraday's first law second law direct you just need to remember the formula and directly the you will you can answer it right here all of these are formula based but this nernst equation i can say that in this nernst equation you need to know the concept as well in detail in too much detail you need to know next we have integrated rate law this is from chemical kinetics zero order first order and second order as well you need to remember the formulas of second order as well and also the general formula of half life general formula right general formula of units right for different different orders then a difference between molecularity and order then we have arrhenius equation here the graphs of zero order first order are very important and the graph of arrhenius equation and the temperature dependence right it is very very important right the graphs are very important in this chapter next we have vesper theory this is inorganic chemistry from here till now we have completed physical chemistry now we have vesper theory in vesper theory shapes geometries based on hybridization they can ask you right from chemical bonding right then you have bond order bond parameters mostly bond order they will ask you from molecular orbital theory and the magnetic nature as well what is the hybridization they will ask you from vesper and vbt right but here they will ask you most probably the bond order or the paramagnetic character right next we have coordination chemistry here we have vbt cft theories right the examples that are mentioned in your ncrts and the example that are also not mentioned in your ncrts 
but they are exceptions that also you need to remember for your NEET exam, right? For board exam, I will tell you that just for your focus on your NCRD, but for NEET, uh, the examples that are exceptions that I have already told you in the lecture, you have to focus on that also. Next, we have isomerism. Yes, in detail, you have to do isomerism. In detail, I have covered it in 3D using structures. I have covered it. So, you can go through that lecture. This will be totally clear to you. It's a very, very important concept. Next, we have uh, from block chemistry, what is most important thing to do? Exceptional trends. Firstly, the P block and D block, the exceptional trends size, energy, oxidation states, all of these things. Then we have exceptional electronic configurations, especially of F block, right? And some of the D block as well, they have exceptional electronic configurations, right? Then we have lanthanoid contraction, right? Based on this, a simple assertion reasoning question can be asked. Then you have very important K2CR2O7 and KMNO4. This I have covered DNF block. I have covered from NCRT line by line. I have taken up three lectures for this. Go through that in detail. That I have covered it, right? So K2, K2 CR207 and KMNO4, the reactions that are mentioned in your NCRT, not, uh, not that are not in, in mentioned in your NCRT, that you don't have to do. Just the reaction that are mentioned in your NCRT, right? Then you have organic chemistry. Here, electron displacement effect, Burhi, acidic basic strength, right? GOC in detail. Right, in detail GOC, you need to know, right, all the effects, examples, I have covered it. I will also take one marathon on this GOC after completing the syllabus. Tell me if you want that in the chat box or not, right. I was also asking you whether you want me to take up mechanisms or not, right. Next is rearrangement of carbocation, right. Rearrangement of carbocation is used in so many questions, right. So, question will not be direct. Some of the questions will be complicated. For that, you need to know rearrangement of carbocation, right? Then you have also the ring expansion and contraction that is there in rearrangement only. Then you have isomerism, structural and stereo. In detail, we have covered it, right? So, these form the basis of organic chemistry. After this, from the chapters, haloalkenes, halorenes, alcohol, this and that. Now, once your basics are clear, most of the questions you will be able to answer from here. Then, do one thing. All the naming reactions, right? But uh, you have to go through everything. But what is most, most important, what you can't skip is all the naming reactions mentioned in your NCRT that are not even mentioned in your NCRT, but I have covered it, right? Those things. Next is distinguished test you have to complete. Then we have very important, usually students skip this thing. Mechanisms and intermediates, right? Full mechanism, yes, it is important. You need to know what is the mechanism for this one to understand organic chemistry. But, but if you want to solve the questions, what you need to focus on, there is a pattern of the questions, right? So for those mechanisms, what is the most important point in some mechanism? Carbocation is formed. So answer will be based on the rearrangement of carbocation. In some question, carbon ion is the answer. So weight of the reaction will be determined by the carbon ion, right? In some of the reactions, there is no carbon ion, no carbocation. It is basically sterically hindered product is formed, right? So what will the answer for that? So these things you need to remember, right? That is what I'm saying. Mechanisms and intermediate are very important if you talk about NEET exam. It's a competitive exam, right? So just cramming the reactions will not make it, right? Okay, if you want to score really good, like 700 plus, 710 plus, right? Next is uh, structures from biomolecules. Now from biomolecules, the structures of carbohydrates, sucrose, maltose and all of these, right? Uh, monosaccharides, disaccharides, right? Then amino acids, the peptide bonds, the different, different amino acids, the name, acidic basic amino acids, right? Then from DNA, RNA, what is the difference where which sugar is used, very important point, which nitrogenous base is used, right? That is important, right? A, T, G, C, A, U, G, C. This thing is important for you, right? Next, we have a very, very uh, practical chemistry, I would say, usually students skip this thing, right? So, this is Jaildahl's Duma chromatography distillation. These things, here the questions are asked, right? It's not necessary that they will ask you every year, they ask the question very rarely, but yes, if they ask you question from purification, they can ask you from Jaildahl or Dumas method, 
right then chromatography and distillation are very important chromatography different different types distillation are also of different different types i have already covered that in uh, purification and qualitative quantitative analysis you can go through that this topic will be covered right then you have practical chemistry now we have not taken practical chemistry yet we will do that after we complete our p block but yes from practical chemistry last year it was added not so many questions were asked from here right but still i would suggest you that go through this because salt analysis right all of these questions can be asked rest of the practical chemistry is in you know physical part you will see that rest of the practical chemistry already you have studied throughout the chapters the different part is salt analysis because titrations also you have studied acid base titrations you have studied about indicators in rox reactions so most of the parts you have already studied right so that was all about chemistry neat 2025 guys if you complete these 40 topics i have, i can assure you that you can even get 170 plus right and if you do that in detail 180 is also the possibility if you do that without any mistakes right that's my guarantee to you because these topics are the most most important topic rest of the topics you can skip also but yes chemistry syllabus has all you know already very less you say ma'am almost all the topics you have told right but what students do mistake they pick out you know in this particular chapter it's not only i have picked out just four topics there are lot of other topics as well students focus on the other topics more than these topics in, because these topics are mentioned in the end so they just totally ignore these topics and here what students do they ignore this part they focus on just this part all naming reaction and distinguished test they don't focus on mechanism intermediates they don't focus on goc right? so this is the tricky part right that's why you need to know what you need to focus on what you not need to focus on right but go through the syllabus throughout but yes these are the topics that should be on your tips right so guys that's all for today if you have any question related to neat 2025 chemistry do let me know in the comment section i'll always reply you and thank you so much bye bye take care but before that do one thing what is that now guys children's day offer is going on right so for this children's day offer what we have for you for our future doctors right we have this offer where we are providing you discount on neat ncrt tejas right neat ncrt tejas books we are providing your full offer and this is how they look like second yes this is how these books look like and they are really really amazing books right this is for chemistry similarly you will get for bio you will get for physics and that is the combo is just for 1600 guys that is really 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 a low price so go and just purchase this thing right next is next is next is you will have tatva practice book neat tatva practice book at 3599 right it will have uh, 20000 plus problems with solution based on latest edition topic wise exercise concise theory right so that is totally your choice what you want to purchase right next is uh, you have neat quick if if you ask me whether tejas or neat uh, tejas or tatva yes both of them because both of them have different content which is required for your preparation <coughs> next is a uh, quick revision flash cards and all of you know that these are my favorite right so here you will get these kind of flash cards right these kind of flash cards you are going to get and moreover you are going to get these booklets right where organic chemistry reactions are mentioned in very concise manner in a very very beautiful way they have written the charts the tables right a very very like a must have thing right a must have thing this is right so in this children's day you can ask your parents to uh, buy you these things right so this is just for 1 3 Two, one. All of these things will be provided to you: bio, bio, organic chemistry, practical chemistry, and you will have physics as well. So flashcards and the booklets will be provided to you, right? Okay, guys. And then you have thirty-seven year previous year question book, right? If you do this book, I can guarantee that you. can get into your dream medical college that is my guarantee to you so guys that is just for 999 that is also for a very very low price earlier it was 1999 and now it is 999 
so go and purchase these things because these things are required for you right so i would suggest all of you don't waste your time the time is running like anything what you need to do you just need to prepare well and now is your time don't waste even a single minute don't waste it right don't waste it purchase it practice ask questions but don't just sit there and procrastinate don't do that to yourself don't do that to your parents to don't do that to your own dreams right okay that's my advice to you yes guys okay then bye bye take care see you all and uh, i really wish for your this children's day uh, you guys are like you know are, are like little brothers and sisters to me and uh, i would never ever want that you guys sit there and you're like okay i wish i could have done that i wish i could have done that right i wish i uh, i wish i studied more i wish i did more hard work i don't want you to feel that right because that is the most disheartening thing that i if i did hard, if i if i could have done hard work i would have been on that place where i always wanted to be but when you know that you could have done that but you were not able to do that why because of your laziness because of your procrastination that is actually a very disheartening thing so don't do that to yourself right give yourself this gift right and crack neat 2025 i want all of you to write it down in the chat box neat 2025 crack crack neat 2025 hashtag crack neat 2025 i want all of you to write it down and also mention whether you have purchased flash cards and tejas or tatva books or not one more thing i want all of you to write it down in the comment section whether you want me to take up the lecture on after completing key block you want me to like take up the lecture for mechanisms right or practical chemistry what you want me to do first after key block right okay then bye bye take care see you all in the next session bye bye